with a degree of dignity. Sir, the Miller family are here to see you. Send them in. Oh, and uh, cancel my next few appointments. I feel like this is the one. Ah, Mr and Mrs Miller. I'm Chief Constable McMara. Please, take a seat. <laughs> is there anything I can get you? A drink? Maybe something to eat, maybe? Are you okay heating-wise? I can tell Angie to turn down the heating. Angie! Turn the heating down for the Millers! No. No, thank you. Let me start off by saying I'm incredibly saddened to hear of your situation, Mr and Mrs Miller. I can promise you, we will do everything we can to get her back to you safe and sound. <laughs> I just want my little girl back. Miss Mill, we'll do everything to do just that. Mark my words. But we need as much information as we can about her to give to the press and social media. Like with the case of Sarah Budley. Oh, everything about that case got the public in a frenzy. A pretty young girl, an older man who took her. Chief Constable Julie Lugger going out, helping with the search efforts, being interviewed by Victoria Derbyshire. <laughs> Real national news, though. Yes, yes, but we're not here for the press. We just want to find our girl. Oh, but of course. This must be a very difficult experience for both of you. But the more we get you and your daughter's picture in the papers, online and on TV, the more good it will do with helping to find your daughter. And with that, I can finally show that Julie Logger bit. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, yes, OK. Uh, I mean, we are prepared for interviews and such. We'll do anything you ask, Chief Constable. Anything at all. Please, Miss Miller. <laughs> Call me Mike. Right. Well, we need to get a few details out before we call the PR guys and the news cameras. Oh, we'll need some makeup, especially you, eh, Miss Miller? Panda eyes, Miss Miller. The public want to see emotion. And while the act is great, we just need to make it a little more noticeable. Greek theatre it up a little bit. But don't you worry, we have a great makeup team for these exact times, and by God, they've been waiting for a juicy one like this, I can tell you that. But anyway, what is her name? Charlotte. She's nine. She's only nine. Oh, that's a good age. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the public will be more engaged with someone that age. Sweet, innocent age, that is, being nine years old. Right, have you got a picture of Charlotte that, uh, that we can use? Oh, yes, this will work perfectly. The public will melt for this girl. The blonde hair and the pale blue eyes. Those cheekbones. So soft you want to kiss them. Um, no, our girl is on the right with the black hair and the green eyes. Mm-hmm. That's her friend Sally on the left. Hair? Mm-hmm. That's our little angel. <laughs> Hey, Angie, can you uncancel those appointments? Little Angel, are we looking at the same photo here? Excuse me, what are you saying? I'll tell you what I'm bloody well saying. This morning, I got it. The phone call I've been waiting for all my bloody shitty career. And you, you, come in here, into my office, and show me that. That! This isn't a picture of a young girl. It's a, a worn leather satchel filled with nut sacks. Horrible shriveled nut sacks. She's awful. She's bloody awful looking. Oh, I really thought this was my time to shine. My time for glory. <sighs> but now it's back to petty drug busts and youths tugging walls while I drink myself to death through pure fucking boredom of it all. What are you saying? That she's ugly? Well, that would be a nice way of putting it, yes. The public aren't going to be interested in that. They're not going to give two shites about your hairy, fat, nine-year-old monster, are they? Where the hell have you been feeding her? Other missing children? God, I really bloody well hope whoever has a fucking murdered her already and burnt the body. Bloody waste of my time this whole thing has been. Look at this. 
There was a goddamn princess. She's pretty as sin. She has a face that can launch a thousand ships. That slim build, those deep hazel eyes, rosy cheeks, so soft you can almost lick em. Uh, your, quote, little angel, unquote, is nothing more than a stark reminder of the danger of type 2 diabetes in primary school children. This isn't the face that launched a thousand ships. It's a face that has been launched at by a thousand shites. <laughs> you horrible, despicable man! How dare you say those things about our daughter! <laughs> oh, here come the waterworks. I should be the one in tears. You ruined my whole day. I thought I could shove it in the face of Julie Logger at the next Police Federation conference. That uptight little twat! Now get out of my office with your awful genetics. I hope they never find your two and a half chromosome kid. <laughs> You're disgusting! I hope you rot in hell! I'm going to report you! <laughs> Angie, could you get me a scotch, please? And make it a double. One day, a box of Kleenex, eh, Angie? <laughs>